Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. First Black Panther behind the scenes, Dora Milaje badass. I also have Chadwick Boseman talking about the plot and the new suit they're going to give him. What you're looking at here is the Dora Milaje setting up for a big action set piece. These costumes are a little bit different than other BTS that I have later in the video. If you're new to the channel, I do Marvel videos every week, so be sure to subscribe to get everything. There's even a giveaway that's going on now that I'll explain at the end of the video. So you may have heard that Lupita Nyong'o, Denai Guerrera from Walking Dead are playing Dora Milaje characters. Think of them as a whole team of Black Widows. That's how badass they are. That was why it was so funny when they had that moment in Civil War where she's like, move or you will be moved. And just really briefly, you see Black Panther's eyes pop up like, oh man, shit's about to go down. This is so great, but we don't have time for this. So let's keep going. Chadwick Boseman actually did an interview where he talked a little bit about the plot of the movie. He referenced the Dora Milaje. So here's that clip right here. Maybe I can tell you even a little more of that. More, a little bit more, a little bit more. Uh, we, we, Killmonger is, is gonna be one of the villains, uh, played by Michael B. Jordan, who I love. Um, Lupita Nyong'o, another actor, actress that I love, um, is part of the Dora Milaje. Uh, Denai Gurria is also part of the Dora Milaje. Um, so that's, that's not giving you any storyline, just telling you some of the cast and characters that, that are there. Um, and I think, you know, there'll be some changes, uh, or some, some conflicts, or uh, the better way to say it, some criticisms of Panther. Um, that I think you'll see in the, in the movie to come. Maybe some changes in the suit. Oh. So if that wasn't clear, Chadwick Boseman is teasing Black Panther vibranium suit upgrades. He wears a vibranium weave suit. It looks like cloth, but it's really stronger than steel. It's stronger than Iron Man's typical armor. Now, Iron Man always gets upgrades, so I'd expect him to show up in Infinity War with something equally as cool. But Black Panther has access to more money and more advanced technology than Tony Stark does. So that is why he gets the coolest suit, even though Iron Man typically has the coolest toys. It's the same deal with the Spider-Man movie. You show up with the new Stark Tech suit slowly over time, over the next couple movies. You get little upgrades, extra toys. It's going to be so badass. But Denai Guerrera actually was teasing her character a little bit. She said she's a bit of an army woman, so she's completely devoted to Black Panther. Lupita's character, even though she's also a member of the Dora Milaje, has a little more of an antagonistic relationship. But like Chadwick Boseman said, they're going to be addressing a lot of the craziness that's happening within Wakanda. So I'll explain the storylines. But there's a lot of Christopher Priest, Black Panther, and a lot of ta Coates, Black Panther. So there's a couple comic book storylines that we have to talk about. The way they're used is as special forces, but there's a ceremonial aspect to their order. They're called the wives in training, even though none of them actually ever really expect to get married to Black Panther. The characters that Lupita and Denai are playing are actually from a Christopher Priest run on Black Panther, which was kind of like the Marvel Knights version of Black Panther. So I don't think that they're going to be doing a ton of story from that run. If you haven't read it, it was basically an attempt to make Black Panther cool again. Editorial felt like sales weren't that great, so they brought Christopher Priest on. Joe Casada was the editor, and they put it under the Marvel Knights imprint and turned him into this street-level New York City hero. So it was almost like he was a defender for a little while. So it was kind of a controversial run because Black Panther's King of Wakanda, he's this big badass figure, he's an Avenger, but at the time, he was sort of an outsider. He'd been ousted from Wakanda because he'd almost crashed the world's economy trying to take down Killmonger. So everybody hated him, including Tony Stark. The Avengers kind of hated him a little bit too because he revealed the only reason he joined them initially was so that he could determine that they wouldn't be a threat to his home nation of Wakanda. So there was a lot of retconning going on with his backstory to make him more of an outsider. They caused him to come to New York with some of his Dora Milaje. So they daredeviled up his title just a little bit. He got more hardcore. He started using more gadgets. He got the energy blades. So it's a more violent version of the character. But it's him doing things that you normally hadn't seen him do. Like most of the time you expect to see Black Panther in Wakanda. 
Like, that's kind of what's going on in Ta-Nehisi Coates' run on Black Panther. Actually, he just kind of finished that. He's writing another book right now, but he wrote this really great reimagining of the character in a way that you would expect to see him be portrayed before he gets his big movie. So if you're new to the character, I recommend you start with Volume 6, Nation Under Our Feet. It picks up after Secret War, so there is some story that you might miss out on a little bit, like his sister's trapped between life and death. Very clearly, they're not going to be doing that in the movie, but it does a better job of showcasing the Dora Milaje his relationship with the tribes of Wakanda because Wakanda itself is made up of a bunch of different cities and then a bunch of lesser tribes. So there's a lot of warring factions within Wakanda. So in order to quell that, they form the Dora Milaje, this ceremonial group that's meant to bring everyone together. They become the wives in training. So it's all the different peoples of Wakanda getting representation within the highest circles of government. So none of them actually expect to marry Black Panther, but they become super badass fighters. They get the best tech, and if you read that new run, they actually have even cooler suits. So there's a lot of dissent within the ranks. There's this storyline that plays out where Black Panther himself feels like this terrible king, so even some of the Dora Milaje revolt against him. He has to deal with all these insurgents. And the really cool thing is I was looking down the IMDb cast list. I actually spotted a character from the new title who's one of the people who leaves the Dora Milaje. So even though there's a lot of things happening in the new comic that they're not going to work into the movie, it does a really good job of showing you the politics of Wakanda, the problems that he faces that go beyond that of the Avengers and the other stuff that's happening in the world. Like even within Wakanda, it's kind of a nightmare. And the way they address their spirituality is through him trying to save his sister. There is no one listed on the cast list as his sister. So either they're doing her stealth or they're just not doing her at all. But you have to imagine that they're going to be Black Panther sequels. So there'll be plenty of time to work in all the characters that don't make it into the first film. The movie is not coming out till next February. So it's going to be a while before we see a teaser. But I'm expecting a whole bunch of stuff at Comic-Con. Let me know what you're most excited for though. Black Panther is a pretty easy sell for Marvel fans because he's such a badass. And it's so new. It's so different from the other Marvel characters that I think it'll add a nice flavor to the Marvel Universe and help the tone of Phase 3 so that it doesn't feel exactly like Phase 1 or Phase 2. Usually you do that with new characters. Black Panther is just one of the coolest new characters in addition to Spider-Man that they just introduced to the universe. What's going to happen next is, is I'll post my final Iron Fist review. There were a couple problems I had with the series that I think they could largely fix by Season 2. So I'll explain everything, but congratulations to the new giveaway winner, Will Angel TKD. You win the Spider-Man action figures. Please private message me on the back end of my channel. There was a new round of the giveaway in this video. I'll announce the winner when I post my next Marvel video. But all you have to do to enter is just be a subscriber, leave a comment on the video. Real simple. New Iron Fist coming in a little while. While you wait for that, click here for the Black Panther teaser video and click here for new Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you so much for watching. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.